Believe it or not, this is the tiny Pentium 3 case computer in an Antec 300 case. As you can see, the case is missing the 3.5 inch drive bays, so I had nothing to put the hard drive into. So instead, what I've done uh, is I've mounted the floppy drive into a 5.25 to 3.5 inch adapter. The hard drive is in a, uh, a bracket adapter. I'm sitting on the top here. The CD-ROM drive is the original beige fronted drive that someone else previous to me had painted black. It's a DVD RW combination burner. I've replaced the floppy drive cable with this rounded one with space for another floppy drive on there. I've tried to cable manage the IDE cable and all these cables are crimped together to try and keep them ooh, out of the way. I've moved the USB PCI card from one of the other slots to this one and the power supply now sits at the bottom. It's the original power supply with all these excess cables just tie wrapped out down the way at the bottom. So what does the back look like? Well it's still the silver with gold grill power supply from the original tiny case. I don't think it was the original power supply to the tiny case but it was the original one that I received. I've painted the rear of the case black. You can see there's a little bit of paint coming off here from the side panel as it's rubbed against it. But for the most part it looks okay. You don't really look around the back anyway. I got a new IO shield without the dodgy tiny PC original one being cut out and I've painted the slot blanks black as well both sides so it looks okay from the outside so the front is standard apart from the hard drive is now housed behind this cover that's the original black DVD drive it was beige if you eject it it's beige and there's a bit of paint flaking off um, before I got to it. The floppy drive is a, a properly black plastic one and behind the mesh front are the two 120mm fans. The 140mm fan are mounted on the top which is the only place really for it to go. I could have put one of the two fans on the rear but I figured the the top fan would cover any cooling issues there. To say that the tiny PC only had this CPU fan and the power supply fan. I think having three very large but quiet fans is going to be more than sufficient for cooling this AMD Athlon system. So what was the point of all this? Absolutely none. I just like the fact that I've now got this Athlon XP system in a modern looking case with working front audio, front USB, it's totally black, it looks nice, it sounds alright. The CPU fan could be a little bit quieter, but other than that, it's great. So that's pretty much it, and uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the usual things, and I'll see you next time.